Hey guys, it's me, Angel, and today I have some super bright, super neon triangles of love to share with you today. I feel like I haven't done neon nails in forever, but in reality, it's been like a week and a half, but I was going through neon withdrawal. So I thought, what better way to cure myself than with neon triangles? And I think I'm feeling really feisty, so I apologize in advance if this voiceover sounds a little crazy. I mean, I feel like I could cut a bitch for some reason. Did you ever just feel like, or like I'm gonna take on the world via my nails? So before we cut bitches with our amazing nails, here is everything I use to get this look. OPI Alpine Snow, Bundle Monster Go Be You, all of the Bundle Monster polishes I'm using today are actually stand bean polishes, but I'm just using them as regular polishes because I'm a rebel. Bundle Monster Astronomical and Electric Pink. And I'm trying out a new brush from Twinkle Teeth. And as I was looking back over this footage, I just felt like me playing with this brush was like, I don't know, kind of naughty. Is this brush porn maybe? And also some Triangle Cyclone Vinyls, also from Twinkle T. They are linked down below, and as you can see, I've used these quite a bit because I love them. Let's get started on these cut -a bitch nails. So, for my base coat, I used Gridlock Lacquer, Base and Mortar, and I've been loving this lately. I think I've used it in maybe my last five tutorials. And on all of my nails, I applied two coats of OPI Alpine Snow as my base coat, and it looks like I'm really struggling here on this middle nail, and I was. Sometimes when I'm filming, for some reason, it just looks really bad, and all the rest of the nails come out okay. Anybody who films tutorials, do you deal with that too? Your non-film nails come out better? It's so frustrating. And I like to clean up my base coat before applying top coat when I'm getting ready to use nail vinyls. And in all of my previous videos, I have waxed poetic about the smaller brush from Twinkle T. And this is my first time using the larger cleanup brush from Twinkle T. And oh my God, guys, I am going to eat my words. I felt like when I was using this, the angels came down from heaven and they were singing and like, where have you been, bitch? It's big brushes. Anyways, I am being that dramatic about this brush. If you want to join the Big Brush Cult, the link is down below. Feel free to join us. And to prep for nail vinyl usage, I apply Quick Dry Top Coat. Here I'm using H. Hey Girl Quick Dry Top Coat, and I let it dry for about 15 minutes. While my other nails were drying, I worked on my accent nail, and here I'm applying Bundle Monster Electric Pink in, whoa. Okay, this is, Electric Pink is the perfect name for this because look at how vivid it looks. It just looks like it's buzzing. Do you know what I mean? Did you ever use a polish like that where it was just so bzzz? Okay, <laughs> that sounds weird, but I think some of you are gonna know what I'm talking about. After I let my top coat dry for 15 minutes on the other white nails, I picked up the Triangle Nail Vinyls just using a pair of tweezers, 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 now, some of the other cyclone vinyls, you'll have to be a little more strategic with how you remove them, but I find with the triangle vinyls, you can just pull them off, they hold their shape, and they're still easy to apply. And here I'm applying the vinyl to my middle nail, and as you can see, it just kind of plops right down, and you only have to do a minimal amount of readjusting of the vinyls to get it to look straight. And now that I have it right where I want it, I can press it down with medium pressure onto my nail with my finger. Don't press too hard, but you also want it to stick. And since I wanted my nail to be covered completely in the triangle pattern, I cut up some of the other vinyls and added them to the other parts of my nails that were missing part of the cyclone. Now, this was probably a little bit wasteful. I was being lazy. I probably just could have went and grabbed some of my straight vinyls and used those instead, so. I recommend doing that instead of being a wasteful person like I was. Now that everything is perfectly positioned, I took a little piece of paper and plopped out some of the polish colors that I wanted to use and picked them up with my triple zero detail brush and applied them in a color block pattern, I guess I'd call it. And for this look, I wanted all of the lines to be the same length, so I made sure not to overlap certain portions of where the triangle came to a point. Does that make sense? You'll probably be able to see it better with the blue. 
I cleaned off the brush with acetone and then switched to the blue polish. And this next line is where you'll see what I was talking about, about wanting them all to be the same length. So I ended at the same corner. Do you see what I mean? And then where I'm going to put that yellow is the same length. I don't know how to explain that, but you have eyes so you can see what I'm doing. And then I just filled in the remaining sections with the yellow color, making sure not to overlap the other colors. And that was pretty much it. That was like, I mean, how easy is this to do? This looks complicated, I feel like, but it's way easier than it looks. And then once I had everything colored in how I wanted, it was time to take off those vinyls, except for that yellow section there. I totally missed that and I didn't see that until now. And here we go. The best part that looks great okay that looks great except for that corner you know i've said it before but every time i peel off a vinyl i'm always amazed like oh my god the polish didn't get under there i mean it is a simple concept but my brain is pretty simple and here i'm going to do the same exact thing to my pointer nail except i tilted the nail vinyl at a little bit of an angle to give a different look and i also rotated the color position so I wanted the nails to be very similar, but look different. Now, I debated if I should have them all in the same direction and paint on the same sides, but then I was like, no. These nails are all unique and they're gonna be different and shine in their own special way. And I'm gonna show more cleanup because I was still amazed and I couldn't handle my instant love for the bigger cleanup brush. I'm just realizing I wasted like, two years of my nail career using a very teeny tiny cleanup brush. I feel like I need to reevaluate everything in my life. Let me know in the comments if there was a product that you waited a really long time to try and then once you tried it, you were like hating yourself because you waited so long. I'm curious, I wanna know what else I'm missing out on. I felt like I needed a little bit of glitter, so I used China Glaze Fairy Dust, of course, over my pink accent nail. And then I was like, why stop there? Let's add even more sparkles. So I added my quick dry top coat, HK Girl, quick dry top coat, redundant speech. And then I popped on three little itty bitty two millimeter crystals using my orange stick. And finally I applied top coat to the rest of my nails. And now I found when I use these cyclone vinyls, it's really, really hard to avoid getting bubbles in your top coat because that brush is just going over like the different ridges. So I just accept it. I'm gonna have bubbles, but my nails look cool. So whatever bubbles. Here's the finished look. I was so excited with how these came out. I was getting a real Saved by the Bell vibe from these. Zach and Kelly forever. If after watching this tutorial, I've put you in a total nail vinyl mood, you can click on the top right hand corner on that little eye and a bunch of other videos and my nail vinyl playlist will show up and you can go binge watch some nail vinyl videos. How great is that? I'll also link it in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, well then just leave because we're starting our own big brush cult and we don't need you here. I feel like I need to learn how to ask people to subscribe better. But anyways, you can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at twy underscore star. That's twy underscore star. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. Before it just kind of looked like, you know, a lacy dream catcher handkerchief thing. But now it looks like turquoise and I like it. I feel like I need to go to the desert. <laughs>